We know that when our soul is pregnant or in the gestation period, we have to give our soul the gestation feed. Now, when our soul furrows and starts producing milk, we know that we have to switch from gestation feed to lactation feed. Now, what feed do we give to the soul after the lactation period? Because you know that after the piglets are weaned off, the soul is left for a certain number of days before being crossed again. Within that period, where the soul is waiting to be crossed, how do we feed the soul for maximum performance? So the period in between when the piglets are weaned off and the next farrowing period is referred to as the dry period. Now it is referred to as a dry period because at that time the soul is not producing milk or is no longer lactating. Do you get it? So essentially, if you're looking at it, the dry period involves dry souls. And these dry souls are souls that are in the gestation period and souls that are waiting to be crossed or souls that have had a failed foreign attempt. So they have to be recrossed. So these three classes of souls are what we term as the dry souls. And we already have feed formulations for the gestation soul. So today we'll be focusing on the souls that are preparing to be crossed or that are awaiting servicing and the souls that may have had a failed breeding attempt and so they need to be recrossed. So focusing on them, we are going to be looking at feed formulation for dry souls that are awaiting crossing or awaiting servicing and the amount of feed that we should give to a dry soul that is awaiting servicing. And the highlights of today's topic is that we'll be looking at a feeding strategy that is special for only souls that are awaiting to be crossed. And this feeding strategy will increase the performance of your souls as well as that of the piglets that will be furrowed with several other advantages. So then let's get right into today's video. So now let's take the feed formulation for dry souls. Remember that we already have feed formulation for gestation souls on the channel. Now, today we'll be focusing on feed formulation for souls that are getting ready to be crossed or to be used for breeding and souls that have had a failed breeding attempt. All dry souls have similar nutritional requirements. That means that gestation souls, souls waiting to be crossed, and then souls that have had a failed breeding attempt, all these three classes have similar nutritional requirements. And so you can give the same feed formulations that we made for gestation souls to your souls that are getting ready to be crossed or for your souls that are yet to be bred. So from our gestation feed that we made for souls, remember that we had six formulations for guilt and primiparous souls. And we also had six formulations for multiparous souls. So if you have a guilt or a primiparous soul that is yet to be crossed, give it the guilt or primiparous gestation feed. Do you get it? So if you have a multiparous soul, give it the gestation formula that we made for multiparous souls. So it's the same feed formulation that you give to them. So you may be wondering, why are they eating the same feed as gestation souls? Now the benefits of feeding during this period are somewhat similar to the benefits of gestation feeding. So for our souls that are awaiting servicing, we are feeding them so that they can recover from any loss in body condition. So we don't want them to gain or lose weight. We just want them to maintain, have the ideal body type. Do you remember the ideal body type? Body type three. That is, they are not thin and they are not fat. They are intermediate. So do you remember how we determine if our soul has an ideal body type? We said when you touch the soul, you not feel its rib, its shoulder bones or its back bones unless you exert some pressure. That's when you can feel it. Do you get it? So that is the ideal body type that we want our soul to have. So that is the goal of our feeding, to maintain the body condition of the soul before it is crossed. Also, another benefit of good feeding during this period ensures that adequate nutrients are supplied to the soul to boost its fertility. So now we've established that our souls that are getting ready to be crossed and our souls that have had a failed breeding attempt both have the same or similar nutritional requirement as our gestation souls. But then wait, there is a difference. Since their feed formulations are the same, do they eat the same amount of feed? No. That is where the difference comes in. Souls that are to be used for breeding and gestation souls require different quantities or different amount of feed in a day. So let's look at the amount of feed required for souls that are getting ready to be crossed. 
but are less than 100 kg. So they are ready to be crossed, but they are less than 100 kg. How do you feed them to prepare them for a successful crossing? Number one, you have to give them a higher amount of proteins. So preferably, the feed for gilt and primiparous gestation sows, which has a good protein of 14%. That is preferable for the sows that are less than 100 kg. Also, make sure that their feed has a higher amount of vitamins and minerals so that they can be able to develop faster and then you also be increasing their fertility. So the amount of feed that you should give them in a day should be between 3 to 3.2 kg. And you feed this, this amount till it reaches 100 kilograms. Now let's look at the feed for souls that weigh 100 kilograms plus. Now for these souls that are 100 kilograms plus, they require a relatively lesser amount of protein than the souls that are less than 100 kilograms. So you give them the feed for multiparous souls, which has a good protein content of about 12 to 13 percent, and that is good for them. And also make sure that there's adequate amount of vitamins and minerals in their feed. So now the amount of feed that you give to the souls that are 100 kilogram plus should be between 2.4 to 2.8 kilograms per day. Now let's move to the highlights of today's session, which is flashing or flash feed. So what is flashing or flash feed? Flashing in souls or flash feeding is a feeding strategy where souls that are getting ready to be crossed are given extra kilograms of feed about one to two weeks before breeding. So now what is the benefit of giving this extra feed? What is the purpose of flashing? Flashing will stimulate the reproductive system of the soul. And so now it will release hormones for ovulation. And then releasing more hormones for ovulation will lead to higher ovulation rates, which increases the chances of pregnancy occurring. Now, flashing will also increase the number of eggs that are released during ovulation. And what will be the benefits of an increased number of eggs? It means that we are going to be having larger litters. Now, flash feeding will also support the soul with extra energy, and that will support it during the ovulation period. And all these are beneficial for a successful crossing. Now, even though flash feeding is done prior to crossing the soul, it will continuously improve the performance of the soul during the gestation period, during farrowing, and during lactation. And that is very good for us. So we've spoken about flash feeding being the addition of extra feed. Now, what is the quantity or the amount of this extra feed that should be given to the soul? Give the soul an additional or an extra one kilogram of feed. So during the dry period, we already said we'll be feeding the soul 2.4 to 2.8 kilograms. So in about one to two weeks before crossing the soul, that is when you add this additional feed to the soul's feed. So let's say you were given your soul 2.5 kilograms. That means that now you are given an additional one kilogram. So that means that instead of the normal 2.4 to 2.8 kilogram that you are giving to the soul, in about one to two weeks before you cross the soul, you have to give the soul 3.4 to 3.8 kilograms of feed. Now, after the soul has been successfully crossed, you have to make sure that you return the soul to normal feeding. Don't continuously feed the soul this high amount. Otherwise, remember, we said in the early gestation period, if the amount of feed is high, it can lead to what? Problems with the embryo's development. So we don't want that. So right after crossing, if the crossing is successful, take the soul off the flash feeding and give the soul the normal amount of feed, which is 2.4 to 2.8 kilograms. So now we've entirely looked at feed formulation for souls, right from gestation, lactation, and then in the dry period. If you have any comments or any suggestions, anything at all, kindly drop them in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video. It's a bye for now. Bye.